So in this video, uh, we've got the number of calls made to an office is thought to be modelled by a Poisson distribution. The table shows data collected during 71 hour periods. Use the data to test at the 5% significance level whether a Poisson model is appropriate. So we don't have a uniform distribution this time, we're working with a Poisson distribution. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to redraw my table. So we've got the number of calls and then we're going to have the observed frequencies and then I want the expected frequencies. Okay, so zero, one, two, three, four, five, six plus. Six, 13, 26, 14, seven, four, zero. Okay, now, um, in order to work out the expected frequencies, I'm going to need to work out the probability of x being equal to zero, and then I'm gonna to need to multiply it by 70. However, I can't work out those probabilities if I don't have a lambda. There's no lambda told to me in the question. So I need to estimate lambda. Lambda is the expected value of the distribution, which is the mean of the distribution. So it makes sense to estimate lambda by finding the mean of my data. So I'm going to go to menu, number six, one variable. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in my x column and in my frequency column 6, 13, 26, 14, 7, 4, 0. Option number 3 and I'm getting a mean of 2.214 to 3 decimal places. So that is what I'm going to use as my lambda. Okay, so 2.214. Right, now I need to find the probabilities of x is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and I then need to multiply them by 70. So probably the easiest way for me to do it on my class with is to use the formula. So e to the power of minus 2.214 times by... 2.214 to the power of 0 over 0 factorial, and I want to times that by 70. Uh, so I get 7.6484 to four decimal places. Right, let's change it to probability of 1. 16.9. 3, 3, 5. Right, let's change it to 2. Whoops. Right. 18.7454. Let's change it to 3. 13.8341, let's change it to 4, 7.6572, alright let's change it to 5, 3.6242, and now the problem here is that we've got 6 plus, okay? Now this isn't the probability of x being equal to 6. This is 6 or more. So what I need is to, um, on my class quiz, I'm going to need to find the probability of x being less than or equal to 5 and then multiply, take that away from 1 and then multiply that by 70, okay? So... I'm going to go to menu, I'm going to go to number 7 for distribution. Let's go to Poisson uh, CD, uh, go to variable, and I want less than or equal to 5, with lambda as 2.214. 
So the calculation I'm going to do is 1 take away this 0.97441809910. Nine zero one, and then times that by 70. That's the probability of x being greater than or equal to 6. Then I've got to multiply it by 70. 97441809010 times by 70, and I get 1.7907. Okay. Right, so now I've got a little problem, um, and the problem is that I now have two expected frequencies there which are under 5. Now if you remember with chi-squared contingency table tests, you, you're looking for small expected frequencies. It doesn't matter about the observed frequencies, but if the expected frequencies are less than 5, then you need to deal with them. You can't go any further. So, this is where my problem is. If I combine those two groups, I will go over 5. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to join these two together. So 3.3906 plus 1.7907. So 5.1813. Okay, got to combine those together. So it's now 5 plus rather than 6 plus. Okay, so next up. We need to do the observed frequency, take away the expected frequency squared divided by the expected frequency. Okay. So, uh, six take away 7.6484 squared divided by 7.6484. So 0.355, uh, then the next one, 13 take away 16.9335 squared divided by 16.9335, and we're getting 0.914. Then 26 take away 18.7454 squared divided by 18.7454. So 2.808. Then the next one is 14 take away 13.8341 squared. Oops, I've got my bracket divided by 13.8341. So, uh, 0 0.002. Then seven, take away 7.6572 squared divided by 7.6572 is 0 0.056. Okay, and then we've got, because uh, it's 4 plus 0 here for observed, of course, so 4 take away 5.1813 squared divided by 5.1813, and we get 0 0.269. So, the chi-squared value, 0 0.355 plus 0 0.914 plus 2.808 plus 0.002, plus 0.056, plus 0.269, and we're getting 4.404. Okay, right. So, now we need to think about the number of degrees of freedom, okay? Now, the number of degrees of freedom that we're working with here um, is different to what we expect usually because 
uh, we've got an estimated parameter. So the number of degrees of freedom, you might be thinking, well, we started off with seven groups. So surely it's seven take away one. Well, that's not quite right, because now I had to combine two of the groups together. So now we've got six groups. OK, so we've got six groups. Then we take away one for any estimated parameter. And we estimated lambda. So we've got to take away one for the estimate of lambda. And um, we've got to take away one from the total columns that we're working with. So we started with seven. We reduced it to six because we combined two groups. So you've got six. Take away one for your estimate of lambda. Take away one because you've got six groups. And so actually, nu is going to be four, OK, when we do this. Right, so the null hypothesis would be the number of calls uh, can be modelled by a Poisson distribution. H1, the number of calls cannot be modelled by a Poisson distribution. OK, so nu is equal to 4 at uh, the 5% significance level. The critical value is, so we go to our tables on page 13, 5% uh, significance level, nu is 4, so 9.488. Okay, so 4.404 is less than 9.488, so the result is not significant, so we fail to reject H0. Now, essentially, in this case, that's a good thing, right? Well, I guess you could call it a good thing, because actually we've now saying that there is um, evidence to suggest that it is a Poisson distribution, or it can be modelled as a Poisson distribution. So, I mean, it, it doesn't make, me, make much sense for me to write, there is insufficient evidence to suggest that the number of calls cannot be modelled by a Poisson distribution. Um, I've kind of got a double negative in there. So I could say there is evidence to suggest that the number of calls can be modelled by a Poisson distribution. Okay, and there we are.